Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, who offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including photography, illustration, design, and filmmaking. So I've always gone back and forth between wanting to make photos and videos for pretty much my whole life. I actually never studied photography. I was way more focused on learning about filmmaking. But in the last five years, I haven't really made any videos. I mean, other than YouTube, of course, but I haven't made any video projects for myself, for someone else even. Photography just kind of took over. I discovered long form photo projects and kind of never looked back on video. But recently, I've kind of been getting back into it. I've shown a bit more interest. And this week, the first music video I've worked on in many, many years came out. And I thought it'd be a fun idea to maybe talk about, talk about what I did, why I did it, show you some of the behind the scenes. Because to be honest, it kind of is almost just a picture. My meditations, new incarnations of old situations, the same but entertained in the hope of a greater sensation than before. Sat in stations waiting, understand and overthink impatience, be patient. This could be the greatest harvest in ages, but make no mistake, your teenage is endangered. Wrapped in the arms of my plaything, strapped in the same mind. This dead town, you're dead right. This place got me tarnished, painted, tarred with the same brush as the pavements. Layers, the new incarnation could do this, just do it, I've done it for ages. No, it's not just a phase, kid, that when I pierce both your earlobes with needles from Sainsbury's, it's dead quiet, your dead life. There's no signs, just twists in the lanes like this lane life disclaimer. This lay by that roadkill, we're so still in low light. I drive in the night time with no skill and wait on my hookup. Alone in this world with no people around me to look up or look out. Yeah, where are you now? And where do we come from? Where do we go now? Fresh laid tarmac on post war pavements. Back when we covered all bases, by never discussing the basics, it's that basic. Driving till daylight breaks our meditations. Don't forget your medication. Dinner in the night, breakfast in the evening. We just didn't land in a place to believe in. We pursue passions that our parents don't believe in. We listen to your brother's stories, but we do not believe him. We involve every single angle of the seasons Until silence descends in light seizures I left you in the cold with just good friends I let my hair grow long and no split ends We involve every single angle of the seasons Until silence descends in light seizures I left you in the cold with just good friends I let my hair grow long and no split ends My meditations, new incarnations of old situations, the same but entertained in the hope of a greater sensation than before. Sat in stations waiting, understand, don't overthink, impatience, be patient. This could be the greatest harvest in ages, but make no mistake, your teenage is endangered. Now that's it. For the whole duration of the song, it's just one shot. One puddle in the rain. And you could be thinking, oh, that's pretty boring. I mean, maybe you're right, maybe you don't like it. But to me, it's much more than that. Personally, I think there's a lot of things which actually kind of pair with the song perfectly. The quiet stillness of the track and this locked off slow shot really pair nicely to me. So. Why did I shoot this? What was the reason behind this? So the song to me feels like this big monologue, reminiscing on teenage summers, things that didn't go quite as planned. 
And to me, what is great about this shot, which kind of echoes that, is looking into this puddle and seeing the reflection of these trees kind of swaying in the wind. This is like the memories that are being looked back on. But then there's this interference. There's raindrops, there's wind, all this interference happens to the surface of the water, which kind of haze the image of the trees. And this is exactly what it's like to look back on memories as you get older and you've experienced more things. You have a different perspective on your teenage years once you've been an adult for a bit. And on another tangent, I actually believe pretty strongly in modern music videos being very simplistic. I didn't feel like this needed a bunch of different camera angles, a bunch of different shots, more metaphors to be really strong. I think now that MTV isn't kind of everything, now that you don't really need to shoot music videos, having something which just kind of lets the music do the talking but is still hopefully beautiful is really great. I don't want to try and steal the show from the music. My job is to try and make the experience of listening to the music even better. And another thing which I think is worth talking about is the aspect ratio. Something which seems like a pretty small deal. Just changing it from 16 by 9 like normal HD to this, I think I made it 4.3 or 5.4, I can't actually remember, but that's not the point. Changing it to this narrower format which you normally associate with images really helps to make it feel that bit more photographic. And I think it's something which is probably super subtle and you don't really think about it but I think it definitely pays an impact on when you're receiving it. There's also a twin video, one for just the instrumental, which is the same video but inverted. And this kind of gives it a completely different feeling. The trees no longer really look like trees and they almost look like arteries and veins. I think there's some nice sentiments in there as well about these kind of teenage formative years and summers that you're looking back on being the things which really mold and shape you as a person. So looking like these arteries, pretty cool. But one of the things about this video which kind of make me the most happy, I guess, is the fact that this was right on my doorstep. I filmed this video in about a minute. It probably took five minutes to edit. It wasn't a hard task and it was 30 seconds from my front door. It just proves that there's good things out there if you're looking in the right place and your mind is open to the right things. I've somehow made a music video for a song that I really like by barely doing anything. And that's a huge win. <laughs> so if you'd like to listen to the full song, uh, it's linked in the description. And actually the group that launched the music have just launched onto streaming services as well. So check out the Spotify or whatever you use if you'd like to in the description as well. And leave me a comment, let me know. Do you think this is stupid? Is it just a shot of a puddle to you? I'd like to know what you think. It's interesting to me at least. And finally, I'd like to thank Skillshare again for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership to a vast variety of online classes across a bunch of different fields. Whether you're interested in learning more about photography or filmmaking, or you want to pick up something completely new, there's so much to explore. My good friend Dan Rubin has a few different classes on photography, but there's also a bunch more, whether you want to learn about lighting or Photoshop, pretty much anything. Dennis Volkonsky also has a class on the A to Z of Dan's and neural networks. So if you're interested in learning about machine learning, the stuff that I've been posting recently, that's also a good shout. And as another option, if you're interested in making videos, there's a bunch to learn there, whether you want to learn to shoot music videos, documentary, or just learn how to set up a camera. It's all covered. But what's amazing is, this really is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to explore. There's no ads, and they're always producing more premium classes. And it's less than $10 a month with the annual subscription. I've learned everything I know about making videos and taking photos from the internet. When I was younger, I used to spend countless hours glued to my screen, watching tutorials and repeating them, just trying to learn a bit and get better. And it's a great way to learn. I couldn't imagine doing it any other way. And Skillshare is perfect for this. All of these things are all in one place really is like unlimited potential to go out there and make yourself better at things. So if you want to check out Skillshare, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Cool. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.